Question two then from the 2022 higher mass paper two, three mark question, a quadratic, but a quadratic equation with unknowns in the coefficients. And so this is one of those discriminant questions then. It says this, this equation has to have two real and distinct roots. Well, have, if they were distinct, there'd have to be two of them because it's a quadratic. Determine the range of values of P. Well, it's all about the discriminant. To get the solution of a quadratic equation, you've got that quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus the square root of this blob over 2a. It all depends on this square root. If that was a zero, you'd have plus or minus nothing. There'd only be one answer. Those are equal roots. If it was negative, you'd have no answers, no real roots. So this part here must be greater than zero to give you two real and distinct roots. So that means that the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, the thing that would have been in here, this discriminant, has to be greater than zero. Well, what are those bits? Just be careful with them. b goes a, b, c. b is the negative 8. Keep it all, keep them safe, put them in a bracket. Even the a, even though it's a nice little 2, put it in a bracket, just so you can see them. c, well that's an expression, you certainly want that in a bracket. You don't want anything escaping from this multiplication. So that thing has to be greater than zero. Now, putting down this discriminant properly, having those three parts correctly, and having them inside of brackets, I suppose the two didn't need to be, but they certainly, that certainly needed to be, otherwise that negative would escape the square, and that needs to be, otherwise that P would escape the multiplication. Now, Applying the condition, which is it has to be greater than zero, I've already done that, but also simplifying this. So what have I got so far? That'll be positive 64. That's minus 8 times 4. That's minus 32, but that'll be minus 8 plus 8p is greater than zero. And with the in equations, you can quite safely do the same things, swapping sides and so on. The only thing you have to watch is with multiplications and divisions. If you carry out a multiplication or division by a negative number, that would flip the sign. Well, that's not going to happen here. So 64 take away 32 is 32, but bring it over, it safely goes across as negative 32, which means that P has to be great. Now, you can divide by 8 quite safely, that's a positive number. If that had been a negative number, it would have flipped the sign, but it won't. So that'll be negative 32 upon 8, so P is greater than negative 4. Getting it down to that line actually got the second mark. There's the final answer.